My throat? Hold up. What do you want from me, Pam? She said, I need a throat goat. My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. Yeah, sure, accept it. All right, so I know a way to get some money in this. And I'm about to teach y'all. Emily, why do I have three hearts with Emily? <laughs> Caroline, yes, yeah, sure. I don't know why I said, yes, yeah, sure. Caroline, yes, yeah, sir. We need to talk to Caroline. We need two hearts with Caroline. She's the one we got to talk to. I need to give her a little something, something. She's married, so I can't give her that something, something. But you know what I mean? I got to give Caroline a little something, something. I also got to give Abigail something. Abigail, she kind of like runs my pockets, bro. That's going to that's gonna be our wife this playthrough is Abigail. But like, she kind of be running my pockets more than Haley does in a playthrough. I don't know. I, I can give her I can give her a daffodil. <laughs> I hope she likes daffodils. This is a Stardew Valley sex mod. Don't act like you didn't already know that grim quit acting we gotta talk to pam we get pam to two hearts okay and then she gives us this tea sapling and this tea sapling is really easy to craft it's super easy to craft but then it sells for like 500 a piece or 250 a piece so that's that's our goal today oh damn who left the crispy bass in the garbage i'll be taking that speak about trash i'm literally wearing a trash can on my head <laughs> what do you do in stardew valley live life that's about it hey abigail my lady my lady bought me present thanks you ever get the urge to go exploring okay pretend you just want a free vacation where would you go the beach in a dark cave the old gnarled forest joja mega mall my favorite place to explore you know i like playing minecraft so i would rather say like a cave or old gnarled forest <laughs> That sounds wonderful. See, me and her just connect. You know what I'm saying? Me and her just connect. Hey, Caroline, I'm about to connect with her mom. Caroline, he's a flower. I'd explore Abigail's dark cave. Oh, my watering can. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to pick that watering can up. Oh, God. I might have to leave early just to go pick it up. <laughs> I got to go. Yeah, I got to go just grab it. That watering can and Clint. Clint be open for like a solid four minutes and then he closes. Hold up. Before that, though. Like, Clint, he opens up at nine and then he closes at four. That's like, what, seven hours when you really look at it? But then we got to un understand that it's Stardew Valley time. So nine to four in Stardew Valley time, that's like, what, like 10 minutes? Motherfucker open for like 10 minutes. And he's like, all right, closing down for today. A lot of hard work. Like, I'm the only NPC that goes into the fucking Clint's place. I, I ain't never seen another NPC in there. Motherfucker be like, all right, closing down for today. What a busy day. Lazy ass. Give me my watering can, bitch. Ooh. Rise and grind. What the fuck happened to my crop right here? Oh, are these grown? It's harvesting season? Oh, yes, sir. Say less. Yeah, I don't even feel like touching my crab pots because like they're not that useful look at that they're literally catching garbage how does a crab pot catch garbage you're used so you can catch crabs not garbage crab pot not garbage pot uh blueberry damn that's a lot of blueberries i better be rich after this what you guys think a couple mil i'm about to make right here i think a couple mil my boy yeesh we went into five figures that boy rocking the Tommy Hill figure shirt, Balenciaga, uh, drew boxers, the bald fade, literally bald fade. Like he is actually bald. Let me talk to Pierre. Maybe I'll give Pierre a flower. Gotta be homies with Pierre. Remember that blueberry you sold me the other day? I ended up serving it to the family for a special dinner. I can't. Now nah, fuck Pierre. I'm not giving Pierre a flower anymore. Bro, I sold him some gold quality fucking blueberries. He probably ate one at... Mind your own business, Alex. Is that his name? <laughs> I sold Pierre silver, gold, and regular blueberries. And this motherfucker gonna eat the nasty one. And he's gonna be like... I can't, I can't tell you it wasn't a hit. Shut the fuck up, Pierre. Go fuck yourself. I'm taking your daughter away from you. And I'm slowly taking your wife away from you too. Fucking asshole. The nerve to even tell me. You, should, you shouldn't even brought that up if he was just going to talk shit. Who does that? <laughs> what an asshole. A train is passing through Stardew Valley. The fuck? What does that mean? I've never seen that before. <laughs> yes, sir. Rain or shine, Casimir will grind. I'm not even going to answer what you just asked because of the way you phrased it. Such a weird way to phrase, what am I drinking? <laughs> this motherfucker said, what are you consuming? <laughs> Just because you phrased it like that, I'm not answering. What is thou consuming? Oh, they trying to fight. They're jumping. I feel like, I feel like uh, if you get like jumped IRL, that's like respectful. That's respectful. 
somebody wanted something from you so badly that they needed a group to get that shit from you that's respectful honestly so if you guys ever get jumped irl instead of being mad you should feel respected those four motherfuckers were scared enough to have to jump you because they knew they couldn't take you one-on-one -on -one. did you kill game raiders 100 who is this a fucking detective get the fuck out of my chat batman somebody took the time out of their day to gather a gang to beat your ass exactly i would feel respected i saw a video the other day of this dude he didn't get like jumped straight up but like he was like defending this like group of girls from these like three dudes harassing him and he fucking beat all three of their asses that shit was so funny <laughs> That boy clutched the 3v1. I mean, he knocked, like, the first dude out in, like, one second. So, like, they should have known at that point it was no match. They should have known at that point they were outmatched. If I see a dude knock out one of my boys in the first five seconds of us jumping him, I'm just leaving at that point, bro. I'm gonna pretend that I got knocked out. I'm gonna be like, ah, he got me. At what point do you jump the jumper? <laughs> when you know they can't fight? I mean, that's usually the reason why people jump, because they can't fight themselves to, like, rob you or something. Or if they're literally just trying to rob you as quick as they can. See, I'm going crazy in the mines because I'm broke. I got nothing to lose. I'm at my most dangerous when I'm broke. That's like a true statement though. Like not even like capping. That's like an IRL statement. I came down here looking for violence. What do I have to lose? Robin left me. <laughs> I had 10K when I started today and now I got $60. This is a great gift. Thank you. There you go, Linus. This motherfucker can't even pick up grapes outside of his damn tent bro that's why i hate linus he really is just a lazy ass motherfucker he just like he's just like some of y'all <laughs> some of y'all are like linus y'all just like linus no tech tips though <laughs> linus is a bum but he just like me for <laughs> on oh, god i'm running low on grape bro linus i just gave you a grape the other day what a fucking bitch <laughs> i literally gave that man a grape the other day i'm getting right down to business bro there's grapes linus bro you just walked past some grapes and you're asking for somebody to get you grapes oh my <laughs> oh my mama he's lazy bro don't be like linus chat don't be like linus that is the laziest man i've ever seen bro down to chat as soon as i heard that shit i understand there's a deeper meaning to the song but as soon as i heard that shit i listened to donda on my plane ride to uh florida as soon as donda chant came on i skipped that shit after like two dondas i was like kanye already on his bullshit i heard donda donda and i hit skip I don't know how the Linus has $240. I did one quest for him on my other character. Motherfucker gave me $750. I was like, what? How the hell does he get this money? Linus be stealing, bro. Tax fraud, something. What does he get all that money for, for those quests? Go to Clint's before he closes after being open for five minutes. It's funny because, like, I made up, I kind of made up this shit. Where like, oh, Clint, he closes quick when me and Ryan were playing. But, like, I was actually reading some, like, Stardew Valley Reddit shit. To find like information out and a lot of people in the stardew valley reddits they're like yeah fuck clint <laughs> clint's a bastard he'd be closing as soon as he opens i was like damn so clint really is a scumbag oh damn woke up in my one single bed woke up in a two better and my quick king size bed and now i got a kitchen what's cooking good looking these are terrible names <laughs> nah what what are you trying to what are they trying to say oh, this is weird having a big ass house but no bitches in my house <laughs> shit sucks big ass house and no bitches come on gamers you found a star drop it's a strange it's strange but the taste reminds you of making that money <laughs> is that isn't that what i put for my favorite thing to do <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the taste of making that money. Your maximum energy level has increased. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Gunther pulls mad girls. Where? I ain't seen no bitches when I walk into that damn uh, library. Not a single one. Not even one. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers in stardew got the shop open for a whole day just for one person to show up <laughs> facts bro probably adds mods to have sex with the characters when he's not live how does he know how does he know who told them can you send me your goddamn tea seeds <gasps> two hearts let's go let's go i think there's people that be looking up like stardew valley marryable kids mods <laughs> if you look that up on google you get like straight added to like a police list what is this enemy it's just like a floating fucking head so what do you think this shit garbage not as good as my farm <laughs> i like the exclamation point damn she's sipping on that shit yeah let me get some 
Damn, Casimir, drowning that. He poured that shit on his head. That's not how you drink. Hey, we had one of those blueberries you sold at the shop for dinner last night. I guess it was starting to go bad and my dad couldn't bear to throw it out. It was still pretty good though. Thank you. You're an interesting guy, Casimir. I'm glad you knew it. Thank you. Last time I talked to Pierre about blueberries, he said my blueberry was dog shit. He literally told me to my face. He said, Casimir, we had your blueberries last night. They were fucking dog shit. Because me, dumbass Pierre, I chose the nastiest blueberry instead of the gold star one. He said, yeah, I had the nastiest, ugliest, dog shit blueberry that I could have gotten. And it tasted like garbage. Like, yeah, good job, Pierre. You might as well eat, what, you going to eat dog shit and tell me that it tasted like shit? Fuck you, Pierre. That's why I'm taking his daughter. Not because I, uh, I like Abigail. I'm taking his taking her just because I fucking hate Pierre. Pierre used to be my homie too, but he disrespected me with that blueberry. I'm not gonna forget that shit. What's the little kid doing out here by yourself? You're gonna get fucking kidnapped. Not by me, but I'm just saying. Oh yes, here it is, baby. Caroline. New crafting recipe T sapling. It's time, boys. It's time. T sapling. 22, that's all I could craft. Oh, I need more wood. These sell for like 250 per. Oh my god, we about to make 10k tonight. Maybe even more at 20. Look at Linus. Jump! Jump! Do a flip! Alright. T saplings. Toss them in here. And then we sleep. How much money are we making? Here it goes. God damn. 15 thousand now we really making the big bucks baby 500 per sapling oh my god that's what we've been waiting for shout out to caroline damn 25k and that's a good place to end it right there